Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We will be starting Surah Maryam inshallah, also Surah Taha, and we will be finishing Surah Taha. Uh, exactly 16 juz. And we all know about Surah Maryam, beautiful Surah. Not very long to be honest, but concise and gives a meaningful message, amazing message. Allah Ta'ala speaks about in Surah Maryam in the beginning about Zakariya al a prophet. And Allah Ta'ala himself gives Zakariya's child a name, which is Yahya. Can you believe how amazing that is? Allah Ta'ala naming right your own child. He says, Ismu Yahya, Ya Zakariya, we want to congratulate you regarding a son that we will be giving you. And uh, Zakariya Islam was confused. He said, because he always wanted a child. He was long, he couldn't have a child and now he's old. And now Allah Ta'ala is saying that uh, he's going to give me a child. Imagine how Zakariya Islam felt. And imagine how pious he, he had to be, right? How devoted and loyal he was to Allah Ta'ala. So he says, how is it possible for me to have a child, Ya Allah? My wife is old. My wife is aqiran. Wa kanat imrati aqiran. Barren. Wa qad balaghtu min al kibri itiyya. And I'm old. I am very old. Allah Ta'ala, he gives a very beautiful answer. Allah Ta'ala can do whatever He wants. That's very easy upon Allah to grant you a child, Zakariya, even though you're old and your wife is old. No, no problem. Didn't you forget who created you when you were nothing? Didn't Allah Ta'ala create you from before and you were nothing? Allah Ta'ala created you from nothing and then you became something. To create something from nothing, isn't that difficult? But that was not difficult at all for Allah Ta'ala. If that was not difficult, then how easy had it had to be for Him to grant you a child? So that's one thing we understand from this is that we have to have complete reliance upon Allah Ta'ala. Because Allah Ta'ala can do anything, right? Allah Ta'ala can do anything. Sometimes, you know, some uh, people, they lose hope that I might not, have, I might not be, ever be able to conceive a child. Make dua to Allah. You never know. Right? We know so many stories where the doctors, they say that, you know, this baby won't make it. Right? He won't make it. And through uh, looking logically at the scenario, it looks like he won't make it. But does logic make sense to Allah? We don't base our ruling with Allah based on logic. Right? How many people we know that doctors said that he's not going to be able to speak till he's 10 or he's going to die early. And we find out that Allah Ta'ala grant this child a long life. Right? Or this disease that this doctor said that is never going to go away. I went away. That's easy upon Allah Ta'ala. Right? Everything is easy upon Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala can do whatever He wants, whenever He wants, and however He wants. If we recognize that Allah Ta'ala can do whatever He wants, then Wallahi, we will never ever become hopeless. Right? We will never be hopeless. Because He is our Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Same thing with Maryam. When Allah Ta'ala granted her Isa alayhi salam, imagine how she had to feel to have Isa alayhi salam as a child. Same thing, she said, Call it Anna Yakuni How am I going to have a child? And I don't even have a husband. I can't even conceive a child. I don't even have no one to marry. Allah Ta'ala said, Call it Allah Ta'ala does whatever He wants. Call it Rabbuki Hu alayhi hayyan. That's very easy upon Allah Ta'ala. And we will make Isa Islam ayatan nas a sign for people. People who want to take heed, who want to understand the deen of Allah Ta'ala, right? It will be a sign for those people. And we know who Isa Islam is to us, right? Not like how the Christians think about him, not like how the Jews think about him. We know exactly ayatan nas wa rahmatan minna and it is a mercy for us. This was a matter that was decided. We're running out of time. I want to me uh, mention this beautiful passage that took place in Surah Taha, right? Between Fir'aun and Musa Islam. Between Fir'aun and Musa Islam and Harun Islam. Keep in mind that Musa Islam he had a stuttering problem. Whenever he would speak, he was not very clear in his speech because he would stutter, right? It would take time. So he made this beautiful dua. So that's another uh, lesson that we can take just because. You have a problem in your life, that doesn't mean it's the end of the world for you. Prophets went through trials. All the prophets weren't born the most beautiful people on earth, the most eloquent people on earth. 
right? The best people that never ever uh, could have gone through any serious problems or difficulties. No, Allah Ta'ala tested every single one of them. Yusuf, uh, Musa had a stuttering problem, but he made a dua, Allahumma rabbi shrahli sadri. Oh Allah, expand for me my chest. Wayasirli amri and make my manners easy for me. Right? Wahlul uqdatan min lisani. And this problem that I have with my tongue speaking, make it easy for me to speak. Untie the knots on my tongue. You know? So beautiful dua that Musa, Allah Ta'ala loved this dua so much that he mentioned this beautiful dua that Musa Islam said and he put it in the Quran. He mentioned it as a paragraph in the Quran. Allah Ta'ala wanted this Musa Islam to speak to Firaun. Remember Firaun, a king who considers himself to be God. He's a politician. He's very smart. He's a genius. Right? Now imagine him with his ministers, literally everyone around him. Right? Everyone is watching this scenario, this epic scene that's about to take place. Allah is Ta'ala is saying that, I want you, Musa, right, to go to Firaun and speak to him. Musa is like, Ya Allah, at least send Harun with me, please. Let me have someone as a backup. Allah says that, Idhab anta wahuka, that you go with your brother, be ayati with my signs. Go give da'wah. Go give da'wah to this one person, right? The one person that you would expect no one to ever give da'wah to. A just, unjust person, a person who kills children, a person who buries women, a person who will kill anyone without any reason. Who would ever want to give da'wah to this person? Allah Ta'ala says that go to this person, right? And don't fall short in remembering me. Remember me, right? And go and preach to Fir'aun. Go to Fir'aun. Allah Ta'ala is commanding them. Really, he has transgressed. فَقُولَ لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنًا Pay attention to these beautiful words Allah Ta'ala used. Say قَوْلًا لَيِّنًا Constantly good words, soft words to Fir'aun. Fir'aun is the worst person on earth, yes? But Allah Ta'ala is telling Musa, be very gentle with your words. Not just gentle, constantly gentle. A person can start off very soft and then two minutes in the conversation, what does he do? He starts throwing a shoe at him. He starts getting very loud because he's getting irritated by this person. Allah Ta'ala is saying, قَوْلَ لَيِّنًا لَيِّنًا means constantly gentle. Right? Because why? Because of this, because of you have being so, uh, because of you have being so much, uh, because of you having so much patience, despite the fact that he's annoying to you, even that person will be like, how is he dealing with me? I'm, I'm so mean to this, I'm so mean to him, but he's, he's just so nice and polite to me. Why is he so polite and nice to me? Because of this politeness, right? And how nice Musa Islam is. Perhaps Firaun might get affected. If Musa Islam was harsh, or he became harsh, then Firaun would be like, Who is you? Get out of my face. I don't want to see you. Right? You're not even helping me and you're mean. Get out of my face. But if Musa Islam is polite, right? Speaking with adab and respect, then. Firaun might get affected. Allah Ta'ala is saying, He might remember me. He might fear me. Right? Because we never know. This is a clear point that, you know, a person that we may think is the worst person on earth. Right? We probably have some uncle that we don't like or a relative. And you tell yourself, you know, I, this, there's no hope for this guy. You know, we might think like this sometimes. That there is no hope for this person. Right? There's no hope that Allah Ta'ala will guide this person. We lost hope. If Allah Ta'ala is telling Musa Islam that there, there might be hope for Fir'aun, that he might remember Allah, in his heart some, there might be some kind of light, then who are we to judge anyone in this world? You know, this is a very sad reality that we are living in today. Wallahi, very sad reality. We see a brother, you know, he might commit some kind of sin, or we heard of some sin that he does, and that's it. We look down upon him. We think he's the worst person on earth. He comes to the masjid, we give him this eye. We degrade him. We know exactly what you do. Who do you think you are? We make them feel uncomfortable. We make them feel uncomfortable. Who are we to judge any person? Especially a believer. This is Fir'aun who is not even believing Allah. He claims himself to be God. And Allah Ta'ala is telling Musa, be gentle with this person. Because he might fear Allah. 
You might love Allah. Allah Ta'ala, He says, يَعْلَمُ السِّرَّ وَأَخْفَى He knows the secrets of a person, but He knows every secret that no one ever knows in this world. Right? That might be so deep in His heart. He might have nur in His heart. Firan might have nur in His heart that might affect Him one day. So who are me? Who am I? And you to have the audacity to judge anyone who comes to the mus uh, masjid and we might think that he's a bad person and we look down upon him. Subhanallah, we have to understand. You know, it's not just stories that we just read. I wanted to finish this page because it's it beautiful, but we don't have time. But just to understand that, you know, we can't degrade and look down upon any believer. If Musa Islam was told by Allah to give da'wah to Fir'aun and speak gentle and be nice to him, who is the worst person on earth, we should always be gentle to our believers. Right? We fight over irrelevant issues. Something very small, we make it a big deal and then we end up hating that person. We should always be gentle. May Allah Ta'ala grant us the ability to always be nice and be sincere to our Muslim brothers. وَأَخْرُ دَعْوَاهُمْ عَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ